Hello friends and welcome to Ghostwatch. Are you ready for some spooky, freaky and paranormal videos? Well I am. Today we're checking out Urbex Hill. He has made a compilation of his top 5 paranormal encounters while he was urban exploring. He's not a ghost hunter, he's just an urban explorer. Without further ado, let's check it out. Like now. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Urban Seal here. Um, before we jump into this compilation video, I want to explain a few things. Um, the first thing is, uh, as many of you know, I explore completely alone and uh, I rarely talk. And that's because, you know, I'm trying to hear my surroundings to make sure no one else is in the building while I'm exploring. You know, you know, exploring alone is really dangerous and I need to make sure, you know, I'm safe. So that's one of the extra precautions I take. And uh, the second thing is, the reason I miss a lot of the scary things on camera is because I'm not looking at the camera screen. You know, I'm looking at my surroundings, to, you know, to looking at the floor to make sure I don't fall through the floor. Or, you know, the ceiling, make sure it's not caving in or whatever the case is. So um, if I'm walking down the hallway... You know, I'm normally, you guys see what's ahead of me, but, you know, I'm looking all around. So if something's, in, you know, passing by, you know, I'm, I'm, I tend to miss it. And another reason why I miss it, because I like to turn my ISO settings up on my camera. And what that does is allow a brighter image. So you guys see brighter than what it actually is in the building. So maybe I can see, if I'm in a hallway, I'll see 15, maybe 20 feet down the hallway. What you guys can see is 50 plus feet down the hallway. So if something goes darting off in the distance, I'm not going to see it. You know, but you we do. See it. So a lot of times I don't see this stuff until I, I get home or until I post it on YouTube and you guys point it out and I'm like, wow. How creepy must that be, you know? Looking at the footage when you come home, you didn't see it with your own eyes because you were looking somewhere else. And then see it when you come home. That <laughs> must be spooky, man. I can't believe, you know, that on camera so with that being said here's my top five scariest paranormal encounters while urban exploring Hope check it out enjoy. we will trust me we will number five I put this video at the number 5 spot because unlike the other videos in this lineup, only one weird thing seemed to happen while I was exploring this school. This exploration really wasn't too scary, but nonetheless, what happens in this video was very unexplainable. This school looks kinda dilapidated. Why don't they tear? Why don't they tear these buildings down? You can never reuse this, you know? Or I guess you don't. I guess you can't use it again. Oh shit, I think someone's here. You're not alone. Oh, so often when you are urban exploring in these abandoned buildings, it's very often that it is homeless people or squatters. You know, so not all paranormal, but let's see. Looking through broken glass. Isn't that a song? If not, then, if not, then I just made it up. Hello? Hello? There's no one there. That's weird. 
And where did that sound ca come from, you know? Or the door slammed, yeah? Slammed shut? Or it opened by itself? Definitely open. And then it slams shut. Yeah. Holy moly. And there was no one in there. There was no one in there. And I don't think that there was no cut in the video, right? When he walked from here or there. So how could there not be anyone in there? And he heard footsteps. And the door is closing all by itself. <laughs> That's creepy, man. That's effing creepy. Number four. St. Joseph Riverside, Abandoned Hospital. I put this video at the number four spot because while I was exploring this hospital, it was pretty uneventful. That was until towards the end of my exploration when I heard a few creepy noises. But when I uploaded the video to YouTube, people in the comment section were quick to point out what looks like a strange dark hand moving from behind the doorway. At the time of my exploration, I did not see this. Let's see if we can spot it. Comment down below if you spot it before me. Oh shit, it's flooded. It is. I did not see it. Did you guys see it? Take my strong hand. Oh. How did someone see that? Do they have like super sonic, superhuman like eyes? How did I notice that, man? You people. But there was definitely something there. But it could be a homeless people, you know, a squatter or something. I love this channel. Sorry for talking, I'll, I'll rewind. Hello? Could that be an animal? Of some sorts? I don't know. That doesn't sound like any animal that I know of. 
What do you guys think? Do you think it sounds like an animal? If so, which animal? What animal? Number three. What made that sound? Empire Computech. I put this video at the number three spot because this school is just as scary as it looks. While I was exploring this place, I had a number of very strange and creepy things happen to me. Again, why don't they tear these buildings down? Huh? What are they good for? From the decaying hallways and rooms, and the air inside the building being very toxic, this place is truly what nightmares are made of. Something from a horror movie, or a horror game. But this is true horror. They... Oh. oh. Who's that in the distance? What the fuck is that? It's a glowing oh, eye. Do y'all see that? Oh shit. It's a glowing eye, man. Hello? Yo. Hello? It's definitely no firefly. <clears throat> Hello? What an awesome camera he has. Look at the quality and what it can do. Must be pretty expensive. We were once kept in the dark. Occasion brings you into the light. Challenge yourself to be creative. Teach yourself the knowledge that you hold the key. That is true. It's up to you to gain from their knowledge. Whoa, okay. Do you think a homeless guy would hide in the locker? I don't think so. So why are they locked now? Holy toaster. I miss everything. <laughs> Hello? Who the F are you? Huh? 
And what are you doing in there? Just sitting there. Like some creep. And now it's gone. What's wrong with you, man? Get that job or something, you know? Just sitting in dilapidated schools. I put this video at the number two spot because this was one of the most terrifying explorations that I've ever been on. Oh, Before I yes. even entered the Masonic Temple, I was getting very creepy vibes from it. And unfortunately, I found uh, what looks like an animal gravesite. And God knows what happens in these Masonic temples, you know? What do, what do those Freemasons do? Do they sacrifice people? Animals? Do they eat people? Do they drink their blood? We don't know. I can without a doubt say this place is truly haunted. Your discretion is advised. Oh, mummified dog. Oh no, I don't want to see that. I love dogs. Oh. You poor boy. What the fuck? Hello? Who the hell did that? What the fuck? I guess the wind couldn't do that. Right? Wind couldn't have done that. What did I say on the wall? Corpse disposal. Alrighty then. Hopefully that's not the masons that were here. <laughs> they wrote that. Did I use this for corpse disposal? Maybe. Who knows? I don't. Are you a Freemason? Tell me in the comments. What then? I know you can't tell what you're doing. But What? What the fuck? Get out of there, that building is falling apart, man. Or is it paranormal? I'm out of here. Let me get the F out of here, man. Holy toaster. 
This place is haunted. For sure. He can't get out fast enough. <laughs> so would I. And so would you. Number one. Central High. Cleveland. Awesome soundtrack in this video. Alone. Are you sure you're alone? I put this video at the number one spot because not only did I catch a lot of truly bizarre things on camera, the entire time I explored this place, I felt like I was being watched and followed. This was a very interesting exploration though because there was a lot of cool things left behind. This building is extremely dark inside and it was very hard for me to see while I was exploring. With that being said, I didn't notice any of the things that I caught on camera until I posted it to YouTube. Oh. This place was very scary. Let's check it out. No, <laughs> I miss everything. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, it runs off, but we don't hear any footsteps. And this pitch dark is, is black in there. Wow. He is, of course, using a night vision camera, you know? It's completely dark in here. How could that thing move so fast in the darkness without making noise or footsteps? You can hear when he's walking on the floor, it's cracking, you know? There's no one there. Holy moly. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you? Does it really? Oh, it slowly fades away. You have to remember, it's complete darkness in there. So it's not a reflection of anything. Right? That's creepy. I did not see it, no. <laughs> oh. That one also ran away. In the dark. What? Making no noise as well. That must be paranormal, man. 
right? Oh, that gave me the chills, and they're multiplying. I would be so fast out of there, wouldn't you? Run! That's what I would have done. There's someone throwing stuff at him, man. Maybe it's not a night vision camera because I did see reflection in the window, yeah. But it is a flashlight he's using, okay. On the camera. But it's still very dark everywhere where he's not pointing. Hello? Hello? Holy... Fuck. Holy Moses! Get out of there, man! You're in danger! God damn it. What? Yeah. It's from his right. But there's no one there. It didn't come from upstairs. What? That's creepy as F, man. That is creepy. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Yeah, do now. I put a link in the description. A oh, bonus video. For his, uh, for the original video here. Fisher Brothers Company, Cleveland, Ohio. What awesome soundtrack music he puts in there, man. Of course I didn't. Oh, that one. I did see that. I thought it was something else. Okay. Who the F is that? Who the F was that, man? That was all from Urpix Hill. How awesome is he? I love this guy and his videos. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like you said, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll put a playlist right here. And right here, I put a recommended video. It's somewhere around there, right? So you can watch more of my videos. Right down here, on my portrait, you can subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.